Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm The Crafty Quinn. I am doing my intro a little bit differently this time. I haven't shown my face in a while, so I wanted to say hi. And I also just wanted to quickly talk about some of the new things that you can expect in 2022 before we get started with this video. And I just wanna say thank you guys so much for you know an amazing first year on YouTube. It's been really, really great and your support just means the world to me. So just thank you again from the bottom of my heart. Really appreciate it. I love reading your comments. I may not always get a chance to respond to them, but I love reading them. I do see them and just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, so you may have noticed that this is a Target dollar spot video and that is something a little bit different than I normally do on my channel. And that's kind of part of why I wanted to, to come on here and talk to you face to face in case you missed my live but I am starting to diversify my content a little bit more. I wanna do some new things. I wanna explore more things. So it's gonna be a lot more of dollar videos from other places. It may be some Walmart clothes hauls, something like that. I really enjoy fashion. I really enjoy finding the best clothing deals as well. So I am starting some new things like a like to know it account, which you may see on Instagram if you follow me there. And if you don't, make sure you do. You can follow me on Instagram at the Crafty Quinn, and that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to keep posting all of my content there. I'm still going to be doing DIYs. Don't get me wrong, I still love Dollar Tree. I still have Dollar Tree DIYs. So you can you can expect to see more of those, like continue to see more of those, but I am definitely going to be incorporating some other things as well. And I mostly like to use only Dollar Tree things in my crafts and DIYs if I can help it. And so you're gonna see more of a mix of other things to make those crafts as well. You know, more things from Hobby Lobby or more things from Michaels, things like that. But mostly you are going to see some of the, some of the, the same things that you love to see, but it's only going to get better and better from here. So I'm very excited to show you some of the new things that are coming up, including this video. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, everyone, like I said, we are looking at my local Target's dollar spot section today. Clearly people have already been through these towels. These dish towels were adorable. And on the next one that I'm about to show you, I really loved the red heart fringe on this you and me, it's a forever kind of thing. It's so adorable. These towels are normally a set of two for about $3, I believe. Next, we're looking at these cookie cutters. I love you. It's a set of five for $3, and I'm honestly not sure if this is really the best deal because if you really wanted to spell out, you know, I love you, you need three of those pieces. So take it or leave it. This, this Cupid's delivery service bucket, it's really cute. It's a felt basket. I, however, think it should have been $1 instead of $3. <laughs> Next, we have this cute little reversible heart chalkboard sign. So you got the natural wood on one side and chalkboard on the other. I think this is a great deal for $3. Next, we have these little headbands and sunglasses, just some cute little things if you wanna put them together in a basket. Adorable for kids, of course. This, I definitely feel like they should be $1 if they aren't already. This little love sign, it's about, so it's $5, but it's a little bit smaller than the Dollar Tree love sign. So I honestly think Dollar Trees is a better deal. Love makes this house a home. I love this modern farmhouse kind of minimalist dish towel. I love dish towels, so uh, my husband knows I have a bit of a dish towel addiction. <laughs> but they always have so many cute ones at Target, and that's where I mostly get mine from. This was $5, surprisingly. So this is a $5 just like little throw blanket. It's got a peachy tone color to it. I thought it's adorable, but not sure if I really need that for Valentine's Day. This little gnome dish towel set I think it's it's adorable, but I'm not really sure if it's my style, but like I said, I do love the heart fridge on this. Oh, $5. Take back what I said before. I think all of the dish towels are $5. Correct me if I'm wrong. So this is actually $10 and it's a chalkboard sign with a little stand, kind of like a picture frame stand. And I wasn't sure if $10 was really, you know, the right price range for that. I would maybe pay $5 at most for that. I thought these adorable little animal paw print dish towels are so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna pick up more. <laughs> 
Here's another adorable Valentine's Day one. They just had so many this year. I really wanted to show you all of the ones I found because there were just so many to pick from. Next are these little trucks. They're so interesting. I mean, I think it's kind of similar to a tiered tray. You can put a lot of little things in here and you can kind of make it a Valentine's Day delivery truck. $5 for this doesn't seem too unreasonable, but I would like to pay three. These adorable little wood houses. Now, Dollar Tree does have something like this already if you can find them. At least at Target, you know that you have a good chance of finding them right now, and it's $5 for two. I don't necessarily agree with that price because I'm used to Dollar Tree prices. Maybe I'd pay three for a set of two. Next are these bunches of flowers for $3. You get five in a bunch. I think that's actually a great deal considering, you know, it's normally a dollar per whatever at Dollar Tree, but sometimes you can get a bit of a bunch like this, not a bunch, but a bouquet for a dollar, and that's kind of where Dollar Tree beats out their prices. But Dollar Tree, but Target, I mean, has prettier flower bundles, I will say that. And a lot of their flowers are more just more on the modern side. Like these little things, I'm not sure what to call them, but it's a floral pick. And it's actually part of their winter decor. According to the tag, anyway. <laughs> Next, I found these adorable little socks. I always get a pair of socks for every single holiday and, and season from Target's dollar spot because they are a dollar and you just can't beat how cute they are. Next, they had a ton of these silicone molds for chocolates. And, you know, that's perfect for Valentine's Day. It's a, definitely a romantic date idea to cook together. And so that's roses up there on the top. I was trying to show those, you can't really see them that good, but they're tiny little rose molds. And then of course, Cupid's arrow and some lips. Would not be Valentine's Day without it. And there's a recipe as well. It tells you how to make the chocolate candy molds. So I can't remember how much they were. I wanna say, I think it was about $3 for this. I feel like $5 would be too much. Now this base baking set, $3, I think that's perfect. It's definitely in line with Dollar Tree's prices, but these are definitely cuter colors. So I also saw these gift sets. Um, this might be part of the Christmas section, I wasn't sure, but they had a few of these leftovers and left over and I wanted to share. So $3 and you get three items in here and they're adorable, so I think that's a great deal you can't beat. And it's a satin set, especially love that. So these buckets, so I think, yeah, all of the buckets are $3. This one says you've been struck by Cupid. It's cute, but not really something I would buy. I don't have children. So I would say at the most, I would prefer only paying a dollar for that. Here's a similar little heart basket. They had a lot of cute felt ones this year. And I like this one because you can definitely put flowers in it, turn it into some kind of floral arrangement. Not a big fan of the color, but you know, it is what it is. So this one, like I said, $3, and I would pay a dollar at most for that little basket. So here's some other chocolate molds they had. I found these later on. They have some cute little sayings, kiss me, be mine, uh, love, a couple hearts and things like that. I was trying to get a good photo of all of the molds in there, but I couldn't really see them that well. This one also has the recipe on the back that tells you how to make the chocolate molds. Sorry for the shaky camera angles. <laughs> this is my first time filming Target Dollar Spot content and I was really excited. It just kind of happened out of the blue one of the times I was there, so I was like, let me just film all this stuff real quick. <laughs> so next you have these silicone candy molds and these are for how you make those hot chocolate bombs and I've seen a lot of that this year. It's definitely very trendy, but those are the chocolate ones that you actually fit, uh, you fill them with the hot chocolate mix and you can put marshmallows in there too. Next, I wanted to show you these candles because I thought these would also be a cute little Valentine's Day idea. It's just better together. I just feel like it's romantic, but it is $3 for this tiny little candle and I, mm, I'm not sure if that's the best deal, <laughs> but they do have some really good smelling scents. So this one, let me see, that's sage. They had some citrus, raspberry and rose. I think 
think the citrus one said adventure. Okay, so that's not really on the Valentine's Day side, but I noticed this was over there and I don't really feel like it fits with their winter decor. So this might be just part of their spring section they're putting out. This was definitely part of their Valentine's Day decor. It's actually supposed to be a mixing bowl and it looks just like a large cup. So $5 for this, uh, it, I mean, it is ceramic maybe, but I would prefer three. So they had it in red and white. I was trying to figure out how big this bowl was exactly, and I didn't see a size on it, but it said it's dishwasher and micro microwave safe. So that you can't beat. And then they just had some other pink striped cups. So this was in the section of Target all the way in the back where they put more of their seasonal decor. That is not dollar friendly. Um, this is the loves me, loves me not sign. It's a huge sign for $10. I think that's a pretty good price. And maybe you'd see something like this at Hobby Lobby, but they had this adorable little hearts tiered tray. They had some other things. They had some gnomes. I think it was about $5, $5 for the gnome. Yeah, $5 for this cute little gnome here. And then they had these heart fillers and I mean, you get eight of them, but $5 for this. I don't know. <laughs> I almost feel like I could make my own. Now that I craft, I feel like I just could make everything. But this, like this adorable little rainbow, I think that it's so cute. I mean, $10. I mean, a lot of work does go into this, so maybe I'd give it that. But five, five cent kissing booth, I'm not sure how, okay, so I think that was $5. And then they had these garlands that were $10 each, and that kind of felt like a ripoff. But the $5 love sign, I feel like that definitely more fits. And then this $5 heart sign as well. So this is just some of the stuff they've started putting out. Another garland for $10. And like I said, I would not really pay that price, but this is some of the stuff that they've started to put out for Valentine's Day. I'm sure they're gonna start getting a lot more soon, but I wanted to share some of my findings with you. And last but not least, I have this little love sign. I think someone maybe took the batteries out of it, but um, you were supposed to be able to test it. <laughs> I tried it, it doesn't work, but I think it's $15. These were adorable, I love this. The first one didn't work, first one didn't work when I tried to test it, but the second one works and it's a purple light and I think it's so cute. Not quite sure how much this one was, I think it might have been five or $10, but I thought it was so cute. <laughs> And then I noticed that they're starting to put out some of their Easter stuff kind of at the same time. So of course the Reese's eggs are back already, my favorite. And then Peeps, which are not my favorite, they're starting to put those out as well and then sell the individual Reese's eggs, the Cadbury eggs, of course. <laughs> and that's everything that I found at Target's Dollar Spot for Valentine's Day. If you wanna check out more videos like this, let me know. Tell me what you think in your comments down below and thank you so much for watching. Take care, bye.